Hey there everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Murder and Soul Suspect Part 10. Uh, just want to say a few things real quick. I'm going to keep it short and simple. Uh, first of all, I know it's not really that big of a deal to some people, but this is the first series I've done that has reached double digits. So I'm pretty happy to say that. Um, I'm not exactly sure how much you guys actually enjoy watching this series, but I know when I enjoy watching a YouTuber play a series, when they take too long to upload videos on that series, it irritates me a little bit. And it's been a good week, I think, since I've uploaded the last episode of this game. And I've just been really busy doing collaborations with a few YouTubers. I've uploaded those by now, so they're available for view. Uh, and I actually intend to have more collaborations that I'm going to be doing in the near future, as in like an hour from now. So... <laughs> It's um, it's just, you know, I, I've been all over the place with doing a bunch of different videos for a bunch of different stuff, but I want everyone to know I've not lost interest in this. Even if there's just one, two people who actually enjoy watching this particular series, I'm going to play it all the way through to the end like I said I would, and I am very excited to move on and see how the game unfolds. So this is where we left off. I just had to kind of replay through a bit of the uh, match because it didn't... Um, autosave at this point. I had to play through from about five minutes back, but it wasn't that big a deal. Sealed, well, I can walk through anyways. Another one of those. Now, it's been a while since I've played, so I'm a little rusty, but it shouldn't take me too much or too long to get back into it. Oh. Hey, cat. Oh, I get to be a cat again. Okay, cool. This is an awesome feature of the game that I enjoy very much. I guess there's no reason for actually being down here, except for to get that. I mean, there's a bunch of hidey holes. It makes me think that eventually I'm going to get trapped down here and I'm going to have to fight a couple demons or something, but we'll see. It's not the first time where there's been hidey holes in the game and I had no idea what they were for. I like how there's conveniently a cat where I would need a cat. Can I find another cat and, like, get in a cat fight? That was kind of out of nowhere. Just loud noises in my ears. Wait, no, you don't have to climb that. Yeah, I know that de detects demons. Oh, there's a straight jacket over here. But I think so long as I'm in the cat, they actually won't attack me. What are these symbols on the ground? I, I don't know if those are actually something or not. I can't stay in the cat. I have to get out. It's the only way I can move through this area. be interesting. Because most of the time I kill the demons, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that here. I thought I was doing a good job of keeping around them, but I guess not. Okay, so odds are one of these rooms is going to hold a uh, 
straight jacket. Oh, there's another cat in here. Oh, this is the same room I started in. problematic they're like the paths that they take are like always coming like one of them is always looking at me it's kind of difficult that guy turns around right now I can kill this guy oh here goes nothing oh, God. ah this is a repeat all over again Okay, so I'm assuming maybe I'm not supposed to actually kill the demons in this particular one. I should just go around them. So, let's see. If I can effectively do that. Those parts. Those parts aren't me. Where am I? Do, do you work here? Show some mercy. I wish I could help. I'm sorry. Okay, I should be able to kill this one pretty easily. Oh god, I fucked up. Son of a... I only pressed the freaking button, I didn't hold it. At least I didn't alert them all. I only pissed off this one. Oh shit! It gets really freaking dramatic when those guys find you. Jesus, man. They do a good job at making this complicated. Trying to eat my soul. I decided to say screw it and just run through that area because I wasn't having any luck with it. <laughs> I kept trying to kill him when I shouldn't have killed him. I should have just ran by him from the beginning. I might have missed something. I might have missed one of those dang straight jackets. The first time I've actually really been seriously trying to collect all the collectible items but I couldn't figure it out I mean every time I potentially got a chance to kill one of them I screwed it up because I wasn't holding the R button I was only pressing it okay I, oh wait that's right I can teleport okay cool can I go through all this ah I think this is the other side uh, is there any more no oh well there's joy she kind of just waited for me, it looks like. Okay, found. Oh, I need one more. Hey, Tommy. Did you forget about me? <laughs> if I did, then I wouldn't be here. Okay, so. I only need one more of those. If that ends up being over where those demons were, I am extremely dis. I will be very disappointed because. Like I said, I've actually been attempting found her. somewhat. I better find Joy and get her here. Oh, well. That's not too hard. Joy's right here. But yeah, I'd be really sad because I've actually been trying. Kind of. Sort of been trying. <laughs> to get this. Shock 
treatment, but she's already a lost cause. Don't call her that to touch you. All right, fine. You go see what our comatose witness has to offer. I like how all the shouting and screaming they is going on. Look familiar. This one means protection. But there's guys right outside this dope room. I seen them. I'm gonna not let anyone. No contract. I knew this was a Wait, wait, wait! Contract. She still knows. She still knows. Sorry, kid. Maybe we didn't need you after all. Iris sees me, yeah. Ain't that a thing. I oh. What the hell? She booted me out somehow. Alright. Let's see if anything here can tell me what the hell is going on with this girl. Seems like people who are aware that I'm here make it very hard for me to pos possess them. Art therapy. Good, good, good. The bed has been flipped. She doesn't like sleeping. Wait, what's the thing? Determine what determine what Iris knows about the Mel Killer. Well, that's gonna be really difficult. It's not happy. That's like chase and tormented. You're welcome. Jeez. What are these things for? Like art therapy or something? Do no. Blue. Blue eyes. Cold as death. Who had blue eyes? And, and death? What does that mean? Blue eyes. Wolf eyes. Blue stare. The bell killer has blue eyes. Maybe I can expect some of these wall paintings. Troubled. The range drawing, what's over here? Nothing. What about this one? Hey, the bell. Burned at the stake. Wind chime. What is Iris trying to communicate with this drawing? Well, there's definitely a bell. Um, burned? It looks like there's fire. Um, what's over here? I think we're kind of obvious. Uh, nobody knows. I mean, we're just talking. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, stop walking that way, you douche. This is the last straight jacket. Oh, to view story, yes. Recall flashback. I've, uh, I've had a long career working as a state inspector for the Department of Mental Health. During that time, I've been to a lot of institutions, and I have seen a lot of horrible things. But um, nothing even comes close to the evil events that I witnessed at Fairhaven Sanitarium, the place they now call Lux Eterna. I first arrived in um, 1926 to investigate claims of overcrowding and neglect. However, Fairhaven's reputation was tainted long before that. In 1911, Fairhaven opened its doors for the first time. 
a notoriously violent criminal by the name of Jack Yates, was the hospital's first patient. He was to be the, uh, the, the shining example of the hospital's ability to cure the mentally deranged. However, when the superintendent's family was visiting one day, Yates broke free from his restraints and he, uh, he killed the man's wife. Since then, no one knows what happened to Yates or the superintendent. Well, that is, until now. Superintendent Wallace Halstead greeted me at the door. He seemed as empty and unkempt as the patients he lorded over. And uh, as I conducted my evaluation, I couldn't help but notice how nervous he got when I passed by a small broom closet. And naturally, I felt it necessary to find out why. When I opened the door, I was hit by the overpowering smell of human excrement. As the light flickered on overhead, uh, I was horrified at what I saw. A withering man lay shackled to the floor in a pile of his own filth. Years of sunless existence had turned his skin, hair, and eyes milky white. He'd been chained there for so long that his, his skin had grown over the shackles. Um, it took me a moment to realize that the husk of a man was Jack Yates. The police arrived and Dr. Halstead was carted off. Doctors moved Yates from the small room for the first time in 15 years. The floor beneath him was permanently stained with the shape of his silhouette. They, they tried to remove the shackles from under his skin, but the shock of it all was too much for him. He, uh, he died the next day. I watched as they walled up his tiny prison, trying to pretend that it never happened. I honestly hope he's in a better place. Although the staff still claims to hear his agonizing wails coming from inside the walls. Huh, so that was what happens when you collect all the pieces. That was actually really cool to sit there and be able to watch a whole side story. And it was actually really entertaining. I loved that. I wish I would have put more effort into doing this before. The bug's crawling up the wall. You can't get anyone to spray them. I'm not going to try to squash them again. All the blind people put the restraints on me. <laughs> can't believe they put them on me. Just because they can't see the bugs? I hate how you can't unpossess someone while they're talking. Like, it's rude to interrupt, you know? Okay, so what about, can I talk to you now or no? Still trying to figure out why the open door can't be open. How do I have six out of seven? I swear I only had five out of seven. What happens if I talk to her now? Oh, I can't. Never mind. Did I find a clue outside of the room that was related? I don't think so, because once I leave the room, the clue thing goes away. And there's none in here. So it's all in this room, but somehow this game has managed to hide clues from me in the smallest of rooms. I'm like blind. I must be because this room is so tiny. It is probably the tiniest investigation room and the emptiest. And yet, oh wait, there's something there. Ah, oh, thank you. That's not isolated. That's linked. Uh, two girls? Yeah? Friends, perhaps? She had a twin sister who was killed by the bell killer. I still don't understand his motivations. Happening. Shh, shh, shh. Don't 
his life but paid with her own. The bell killer's going after young girls. But what was it? What, what'd you see? A poor kid. Her sister freed her when they were about to be scorched, but she couldn't return the favor. There's two people standing right outside of this room. Are you okay? Are we not taking that into consideration here? Oh shit. Did she just die? It's Rose. She has flames. She was possessed. I told you to stay back! Oh god. Who are you? I'm Joy. You don't She's belong being in this possessed place. by her sister. Orderlies. That Perhaps explains so dead? much. Right, Iris could be the answer to everything. Help her, help her. Come on, she's coming with us. No, you're not taking her. Look, you want the orderlies to shock her? She stays here. You want her to be safe outside? She comes with us. It's up to you. Yeah, nothing unusual about that random open door there. Can I shut this behind you? Guess not. Let's go. Okay. Oh, that person's practicing their kung fu. All right. Oh, they're moving. At, at least they don't like do. It's not one of those games where people move even when they're not supposed to. Like they're too freaking stupid to understand that that's not the time to go. Okay. Like right now, they're not going. Oh wait, now they are. Okay. Like, if they don't go, then there's a reason why they don't go. I wonder what's up with all these random hiding spots. Like, it seems like they put hiding spots in places that really don't need them. Oh, wait. I don't want to leave yet. I want them to get there first. Because there might be more to this. Oh, I guess I do have to leave. Okay. Over here. In those shadows there. Coast is clear. Why do my worst nightmares keep getting way worse? Okay, let's figure this out. I thought I would never see this again. All right. So what do you know about this contract? Nothing. I... Oh, come on. It doesn't make sense. So he just asked you if you knew about a contract? I... He didn't ask. He wanted us to admit to it. Admit to having a contract with... Demons. Demon. We did nothing to him. He had no reason to go after us the way he did. The way he did? He drowns one girl and burns another? And where have I seen that stake before? Hmm. Where have I seen that stake before? Uh, ch -ch -ch. Missing persons flyer, no. Potentially on this?
Yeah. That's it. All right, look, look. Get Iris to the church. Make sure that she's safe. I'll catch up with you later. Go. Okay. Come on, Iris. That's that page that fell out of her mother's book that we didn't know why it was in there. Right. I remember that bit. Now, what the hell does a museum gala have to do with Rose's murder? Okay, so the Bell Killer is constantly talking about a contract that apparently is between people and demons, but no one actually has any said contract. At least not knowingly. And if he's going out to people that have made potentially made a contract with demons, that means that this girl that I'm with must also be making contact with demons. Why am I constantly walking in directions when I'm not holding the buttons to walk in those directions? There we go. That's weird. Alright. So to this point, that's another clue about my killer. To this point, I have not yet um, failed any cases. I've Every case I found, I've solved, although the gas station one took me a while. I'll admit to that, but I did still solve it nonetheless. And there may be a few cases I've missed because I haven't looked everywhere, but... For the most part, I'm just trying to follow the story, and if I find a case on the way, I'll take the time to do it. And that's because I don't want to spend too much time looking around for something that may or may not exist. And I don't want to, I mean, if I was playing this game without recording, I probably would possess every individual person, but I found that most of them just have, like, repeated text about s certain things, and some of it's entertaining to listen to, but once again, for the sake of the recording, I'll just kind of leave it be, unless it's necessary. Fitting for an investigation about a serial killer. All these murders have whipped this town into a frenzy. Now it all leads here to a gala celebrating a time when Salem found itself swept up in another whirlwind of hysteria. I'm gonna go ahead and call this one an episode right here. Uh, I really appreciate you guys sticking with me through this series if you have up to this point. Like I said, this is my first double digit series. Uh, hopefully, first of many to come. I mean, because there are a few games that I'm looking to make some series on, uh, potentially collaborations. So, you know, definitely look out for that. I've got maybe two or three people who are interested in doing collaborations with me right now. So, I'm trying as hard as I can to get those out because everyone has their own time schedules and everyone has to do it you know at different time zones and all that stuff it's really hard to just get it all together and be able to record with all these different people who are from all these different places so anyways once again I appreciate you guys for watching this I will be putting more of this up uh, I don't really have anything immediately calling for my attention other than like I said a couple collaborations so it shouldn't be too hard for me to do more of this <sighs> thank you for watching guys happy 10 episodes until next time take it easy